portal is ruining college baseball, and here's why. With over 4,000 players currently in the portal searching for a new home, there's now a dangerous trend taking over the entire sport. We need to take a closer look at how this free agency and pay-to-play system is impacting development, not just as a player, but as a person and as a student as well. Lots of programs have now earned a reputation of being slimy and disloyal by transferring new players and talent every single year at each position, instead of sticking with guys who have worked for two, three, and even four years. See. Players often commit to programs, particularly Division I schools, based on the premise that the coaching staff is committed to development. Understanding that a player often hasn't reached his full potential by the time he has to pick a school. I've seen close friends, amazing players, and unbelievably hard workers dedicate years to a program just to see a transfer come in and play ahead of them in their final year. And this is ruining college baseball because it decentivizes grit and perseverance if your coaching staff has shown that it is willing to replace you. Additionally, this is terrible for team morale to see players who have earned opportunities through years of hard work and patients be passed over and devalued. From a coach's perspective, I absolutely understand using the transfer portal as a tool to bridge gaps based on injuries and other unforeseen circumstances. This strategy has worked out great for programs like LSU. For other programs, this has resulted in bad team culture and a negative reputation that will not go away quickly. For all the recruits out there, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to pick a program that develops and plays their guys instead of hitting the transfer portal every year. Send this to any baseball player who wants to play at the next level. And let me know in the comments whether good and bad changes have happened due to the transfer.